but not today. Today, we hunt and we kill. <coughs> No, it wouldn't be a smarter because the hooks are fucking vicious. But let's ask anyway. When it be a smarter to leave your dogs behind? They fight at our side. We don't fret over their safety as if they were children. Tell me of Lucy, yes. I am no bard, but I will do my best. She taught uh, Lathias to use the dwarven battle wrath to summon his strength and ignore all pain. The dwarves came from Orzammar that day. He was a great man with... The legend of Luthias. At an early age, Luthias was smaller than most children of the Alamari. At the age of 12, Luthias saved Thutha, the son of the tribal chief, from his own dog. The dog had gone right, and when it attacked Thutha, Luthias slew it with his bare hands. Luthas' father, Mavin, was impressed with Luthas' strength and bravery, and so took him as his own son. When Luthas grew to manhood, he became known for his charisma and bravery. While shorter than his fellow warriors, Luthas was stronger and do, 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 dothier warrior than any warrior in the tribe. When Luthas was still a young man, Mavin sent him to the dwarven city of Orzammar to negotiate an alliance. Mavin's tribe had gone into conflict with another Alamari. He needed as much help as he could get. Luthias was unable to convince the dwarven king to aid his tribe and fell in love with the king's daughters, Kea. And because they were both midgets, I guess. Luthias and Skea fled the dwarven realm and returned to his tribe. Skea taught Luthias the art of fighting without pain, the berserker state known as Battle of Wrath. And with it, Luthias became a renowned warrior. Luthias led his tribe to many victories, until he eventually, until eventually he replaced his foster father as the chief of this tribe. This peace would not last, but in a feast between the tribal leaders, the Alamari and the Avar, the beautiful, powerful Avar chieftain Morrigana became enamored with Luthias and seduced him. Skaya learned of the twist, twist and fled to the village, the village to return to Orzammar. When Luthias revoked the Morrigana's offer of marriage, she left in great anger, and from that moment on, there, war, there was war between the two tribes. For 15 years, the Alamari and our fought. During the Battle of Red Falls, a powerful young warrior from Morrigana's tribe challenged Luthias to a battle. Luthias was injured grievously, but slew the boy. Morganas revealed that the boy was Luthias' son, conceived 15 years prior during their thrist. She cursed Luthias as the murder of his own kin, and the battle of Red Falls turned against Luthias. Morgana defeated Luthias in battle after battle until the Alamari were driven to the foothills of the Frostback Mountains. There, Luthias made us last stand. In the night before Luthias' final battle, the Skeia came to him and offered him a dwarven suit of chain in exchange for a night together. But I guess he would have had, had sex with her anyway, without any <laughs> compensation, but maybe not all men are like other men. The battle was fierce and bloody, and Luthias met Morgana in personal combat. In the end, Luthias is a warrior woman. But not before receiving a mortal wound to his heart, the chain inexplicably unable to block her final blow. Luthias died, and after the battle was done, a party of dwarven warriors. That after the battle was done, a party of dwarven warriors came down from the mountain and took the body of Luthias back to Orzammar. Interesting. Recorded in minus whatever ancient. If you have business with the Ash Warriors, I suggest you speak to our commander. There is a quest here, huh? Hmm, this isn't good. I'd hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. Why would I help? This beast is in the king's service, just like you and I. 
This is a Mabari, smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed Darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. Just how smart is this dog? Centuries ago, a mage bred them to be smart and understand what they're told. They can remember and carry out complex orders. Most valuable dogs in the world. Trouble is, they generally imprint to one master. Re-imprinting them is very difficult. But without the medicine, re-imprinting won't be an issue. Will you help? A mage, you say? Don't he re-imprint it to me? We can try. But first, we need to muzzle and medicate him. Maybe you can help him, Malister. Nope, dogs and I don't get along. You do it if you're so eager. Just leave me out of it. Then I'll get a shot. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. The dog looks up respectfully, acting down from his aggressive stance. You can see intelligence in his eyes, as well as a great deal of pain. This animal is very ill. Put the muscle, why not? Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? I might be, why? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. Why don't you get it yourself? The wilds are off limits to non-soldiers, and I have many other hounds under my care. He's not a soldier? Okay. Will the dog be all right without it? We're all busy. As it is, if we can get this hound better, we can re-imprint him on someone. Even you, if you like. Where in the wilds will I find this flower? If he doesn't get what? it, chances are he'll need to be put down. It usually grows in dead wood that collects at the edge of ground pools. Should be plenty this time of year. I'll see if I can find one. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. I didn't remember that little fact that they were bred by by a, a mage. Dogs are an essential part of Ferelden culture, and no dog is more prized than the Mavari. The reed is as old as myth, said to have been bred from the wolves who served Dane. Prized for their intelligence and loyalty, these dogs are more than weapons or estate to symbols, the hounds choose their masters and bear with them for life. To be the master of a Maori anywhere in Ferelden is to be recognized instantly as a person of worth. The Maori are its essential part of Ferelden military strategy. Trained hounds can easily pull knights from horseback or break lines of pikemen. And the sight and sound of a wave of war dogs howling and snarling has been known to cause panic among even the best and most hardened infantry soldiers. As it should be. Aha, we're back to the fucking... Soldiers of Ferelden, my sisters Duncan. and gentlefolk, okay. we stand here on the eve of battle. Let us consider the evil before us. In their pride, the mages of the ancient Tevinter Imperium sought to open a portal into the heavenly golden city itself. They tainted it with their sin, and they were cast back into our world as Darkspawn. They are man's sins made flesh, an evil that spreads like an illness across our land. To face them, we must first face the evil within ourselves. Let us bow our heads and beg the Maker's forgiveness. Let us not be proud, so we may take courage against the darkness. Okay. Logain's Guard. The Royal Guard. Then I get a, a, a sword. Let's see if what is better for him. Shut the fuck up, Alistair. Sir Garland's sword. 
Armor penetration attack and physical resistance. Okay, let's give it to him. This is slightly better than what he has. You approach the tent of Terran Logain. State your business. Tell me about the Terran. How can you not know of Logain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Terran. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Logain, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. Is the Terran inside? What is he doing? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. I would like an audience with the Terran, please. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. Hold on, then. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. I don't like how they changed his face, but whatever. Yes, I am. Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? Yes, I have heard that. Marek respected the Grey Wardens. They have an honored place in the hearts of our people. But Marek would have understood that it takes more than legends to win a battle. That's not an argument I'll repeat here. I hear you're from the Circle of Magi. First Enchanter spoke highly of you. A great achievement for one so young. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? I don't know. If Kalen has his way, you will. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. He seems like a flurry. And if he doesn't... Then simply pray. Gigmaring theory. Marik. It is difficult to separate the man from the myth. Last survivor of the bloodline of King Kalenhat, the Silver Knight, Marik drove the Orlesian forces from Ferelden's borders, reclaimed the throne, and freed our people from foreign tyranny. All true, and all larger than life. He was born in hiding near Cathal's Crossing to a royal queen Moira, and grew up in royal camps, an outlaw in his own country. When the royal queen died, Marik inherited her homeless nobles, man contents, and displaced freeholders. And with the aid of his friend Logak Ma Logan Ma Logain Magdir, built him into an army. After the pivotal battle of Riverdain, Marik took the throne. He married Rowan, daughter of Rendon Gering, Earl of Radcliffe, and began the long, slow process of rebuilding everything Orle had demolished during 30 years. Of occupation. You approach the tent of Terran Logain. State your business. Is that Terran inside? What is he doing? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. Surely you can tell me a little bit about him. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the King have been arguing for days. The Terran's known the King since he was swaddled. So they don't stand on ceremony. The Ten speaks his mind, and the King yells right back. Personally, I think the King should do what Tern Logan tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Okay. Very well. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. Tell me out the King. You must see him a lot. I suppose I do. Though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. 
Terran Loghain sees the king whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles, but the king just waves him off. The king wants to end the blight with a single huge battle the bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? How should I know? I thought Grey Wardens knew all about the Darkspawn. The king thought it was funny that Terran called him reckless, and they fought about the queen. <laughs> the queen? She's the Terran's daughter. He wasn't happy about something she did or the king did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. Okay. As you wish. Look carefully, man. This wretched thing is a dark spawn. They're strong and cunning and smart, but don't listen to those old wives' tales. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your throat. We've lost many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a long and painful way to die. Make a watch over you, my lord. My father said Tern Loghain is a hero. The king's lucky he's here. How do you do? Well, don't touch the carcass. We'll be burning it so it doesn't infect anything. Half our scouts have gone missing, they say. Maybe this really is a blight. Maybe the Grey Wardens are right. Hail to you. There are lots of dogs here, different kinds. Rough leather armor. I don't think it will be better for him. Let's see. More armor, chance to hide missile attacks. Not out for me. It doesn't give me any armor. With power and magic are more important. Sure, for instance, is something called a genlock. They're pretty common in the Horde, but we've seen others much larger. We don't know where these new Darkspawn are coming from, or what they can do. All I can say is to use caution. There aren't any we've seen that won't die once they bleed enough. Just like every other thing. This is supposed to be the battle that sends these Darkspawn back underground. You believe that? I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect time to get drunk, if you ask me. Good night for it, Warden. My father said Tern Loghain is a hero. The king is lucky. Sack of shit. The wall before the wall before me is darkness, yet shall the maker's light be my guide. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked. And do Fucking not... Elven Messenger. Hello again. Do you need something now? Not from you! Oh, then all right. Well met, my lord. Tern Logay may not think much of the Grey Wardens, but the king was wise to bring you here. The king is a fool. You should realize that by now. Alright. Guess we talk to now. Let's see them up. Are there quests? Hungry deserter. Duncan. But talk to them, Captain. What is warning. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the maids, did she? 
We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. Then what's the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. What kind of scrolls are these? Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities. With so many having forgotten their commitments to us, I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. How will we find this archive? It will be an overgrown ruin by now, but the sealed chest should remain intact. Alistair will guide you to the area you need to search. Is this part of our joining tool? No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. And what if thou no longer there? It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. Find the archive on three miles of blood. Understood. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Tainted blood. The Grey Wood is cash. I am ready. You said you were from Redcliffe. I hailed from Redcliffe, but Duncan recruited me in Hyover, a city off the northern coast. Have you traveled there? No, never. I was in Arleman's retinue when he attended King Marek's funeral. It was in Hyover that I met my Helena. I was smitten. She has the most beautiful eyes, my Helena. Now, for years, I found any excuse to return there. We married a year ago. Arl Eamon gave me leave to serve in Hyover, but I was attempting to persuade Helena to come to Redcliffe with me, at least until I was recruited. So, you abandoned her? Never. I will return to her once my duty is done and the Blight defeated. How did the Great Wardens find you? Last month, Duncan visited Hyover, and the Ban held a tournament in his honor. I won the Grand Melee. It was hard to leave my wife. We married only a year ago, and she is heavy with child now. But Ferelda needs my blade, and I shall not falter. What do you think of Duncan? He has a seemingly impossible task, with a scarce handful of Grey Wardens, yet he does not complain or flinch from his duty. What do you think we should do now? We need to find those documents and the Darkspawn blood. It should be... interesting. Let's go. Indeed. Yes? Huh. It looks like it's famous. Where are you from, Dallas? I grew up in a village about a day's trip to the east. Little blot you wouldn't even find on a map. Haven't been back in years. I struck out for the city as soon as I could outrun my pa. I've been in Denerim for, what, six years now? Never liked it much, but there's more purses there than anywhere else. So, you're a cut purse. And a pickpocket, thank you very much. Or was, anyhow. Who'd ever guess I'd end up a Grey Warden? So, how did they find you? I found them. I cut Duncan's purse while he was standing in a crowd. 
He grabs my wrist, but I squirm out and bolt. The old bugger can run, but the garrison caught me first. I'm a wanted man in Denerim, you see, so they were gonna string me up right there. What happened then? Duncan stopped them, invoked the right of conscription. I gave the garrison the finger while I was walking away. Don't know why Duncan wants someone like me, but he says finesse is important and that I'm fast with a blade. <laughs> you bet your boots I am. Besides, it beats getting strung up. <laughs> so, what do you think of Duncan? All right for an old bugger. He's faster than he looks, too. What do you think we shoot them now? You heard the same speech I did. Blood and old treaties. Off we go into the wilds. Let's go, then. Hey, I'm following you, aren't I? <laughs> we need to get down to the wilds. The sooner you get this done, the better. Trust me. Well, then, let's equip things. Alistair is good. Dive! Six. I don't see him, him doing any fire damage. Put that on him, why not? Thoughts are jarring. Twelve damage, I don't think I have anything at the end. Comes close to that. Grayscale armor. of a strength not enough constitution for my liking whatever not of a strength dexterity and willpower not a lot of constitution jury Training a hard work, the warrior in Zapas, it doesn't matter. Ooh, he has a lot of this. Instead of going for the fatal attack on enemy expect, the player strikes out with a weapon with the weapons blunted, dealing the damage but knocking the opponent to the ground. Okay, how many tactic slots does he have? Three. Okay, this is active. Sustained, activated, activated, holy shit. Sustained. Sustained. Through sheer force of will, the character remains in control of the battlefield. Granting plus one damage while being immune to stun or knockdown effects. Keep 60. Character has attempts to hinder a target's ability to fight back rather than going directly for the killing blow. 
there's the target passes a physical resistance check, it suffers an attack 